As many of you may have heard, our beloved and sainted evangelist, apostle, missionary, Morris Sorello made his transition last weekend. I felt it coming. I have known Morris Sorello for well over 50 years. He lives in San Diego. That's where I was born. We knew his family, the ministry. My mother started supporting people like him and T.L. Osborne, and of course, Oral Roberts, when I was still in elementary school. And that I would ever travel with him, or I used to go to Mission to London every year. We'd meet him there and um, have great crusades. Some of my long relationships have lasted from those. Benny Hinn and I would show up every once in a while. My friend Mark Goodrich, who's, still, who's now living in the United States, longtime friends. Morris was powerful. He was a man of concentration, consecration, fasted and prayed. His son David is a dear friend of mine. His lovely daughter Susan, who has taken such good care of him, and his wife Teresa. They were 88 years old, been married over 60 years, and uh, now she's a widow. But Susan and she are together. He just built and opened this fantastic place called the Legacy School of Ministry. Legacy really means what you left behind. I, I, uh, Susan gave me a complete tour of the place. It's not just a school of ministry, it is a school about ministry and ministering, but it's a, it's a theme park where you can take your family and sit in theaters with the multi-screens around you and actually feel like you're in Jerusalem or in the deserts of Egypt. And if you, you pass by water, water splashes on you. You can sense dust. It's, it's, a, it's an active place and very powerful. I've sat in there, I've been in there, watched the films, and it's a whole tour. There's a restaurant there, there are hotels. You can have conventions and conferences there. It's in a very elaborate state-of-the-art place. It's just magnificent. And it cost several hundred million dollars to build it. And now he's gone. So we'll see what happens as we fill it. And have, maybe I'll host a conference there one day, right there in my hometown of San Diego, California. Thank you, Morcerello. Thank you, Mother Teresa. Thank you, Susan and David, for continuing the legacy as I know you will. I recently went to see uh, Brother Sorello and, and uh, Mother Teresa just less than a year ago, hung with them, loved on them, and then went back again. So I've always kept in touch with them. Whenever Susan was in school here, he would come and visit. He and I would talk. He was powerful in the pulpit, powerful all over the world, throughout Africa, India, Asia. Everybody knew Morris Cirillo and still does. He'll be greatly missed and always remembered. His legacy remains in our hearts and our minds and our spirits. To live as Christ, to die is gain. To be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Blessed are the those who die in the Lord henceforth now and forevermore. They rest from their labor, but their works follow them. His works are there, his legacy is here. The prophet went up, the mantle has come down. It's all good, because it's all God. We love Morris Rowe. My love to Teresa uh, and my love and my message to a great general of God, uh, Morris Arulo. I went to be with the Lord. And I just want to say something uh, about his life. My assignment in ministry is to bring the supernatural power of God on the earth. And... Um, but I have seen very few people on the earth that carry that presence and power today. And I think we have, we will miss a man and a woman of God. We will miss more as a prophet of God, a general of God. We will miss him on the earth because there will be a vacuum uh, because he is not a person that can be replaced easily. I am so honored to say that he's one of the, he was one of the end time generals that prepared the way and for so many of us. And um, I heard so many stories, so many testimonies. Uh, of like one time he was ministering in London and um, as he just released the word, uh, eyeballs and people were formed. A creative miracles happened in that moment. And I have not seen that today on the earth. So I will, we will miss him. The church will miss him. And thank God for the days he served, the days that he gave the church and his family. I appreciate him greatly. Um, and I am so honored 
uh, to call him a general, to call him an apostle, a prophet of God that did so many things and prepared the way for us. We love you and Teresa, I just want to mention to you that he's in a better place than you and I. And a word of encouragement to you that you will see him very soon. We will see him again. And number three, I know the physical separation is always hard, but I release the comfort and the consolation of the Holy Spirit upon your life. Be blessed. And again, we rejoice because he is in a better place. And we thank God for his life because he ran, ran the race and he finished well. We love you, everybody. We love the family and we release the peace of God upon all his family. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Victoria and I and all of us here at Lakewood want to send our sincere love, respect, and honor for the life of our dear friend, Dr. Morris Cerullo. What a history maker Dr. Cerullo was, touched people all over the world, made such a great impact with his life. I'll never forget the time he came and spoke at Lakewood when I was, was a little boy, and just what an amazing ministry he had, an amazing ability to communicate and to lift people. I know how much my dad and moms loved Dr. Cerullo, and then, you know, I, I grew up watching him have that same love and respect. So to the family, Miss Teresa, David, we send our condolences and just want you to know how much we honor and respect you guys and you have a great heritage like I do. And so we just um, have a great memory of Dr. Cerullo. He will continue to impact people through the Legacy Center and through the ministry, the books and everything he, he has done. And I can say he's impacted my life and I'm very grateful for, for that. So we just celebrate the life that he lived. He lived it well. And I know he's up there in heaven with my father today. With a heavy heart, I pray this glory of the most dear general, Mama Sorolo, as we live as Papa. I not only traveled with him, but with friends, he was my mentor, gave me direction and counsel, we vacation together, we traveled all over. Heaven has been enriched with his presence. Down here on earth, he will be sorely missed. But he had a great calling on his life. And he fulfilled that calling. If anyone I've ever known in my whole life, I fulfilled the calling. It was Barcelona. His greatest, greatest words were souls. Souls, John. Souls. I love him very much. We will be missed by a place in my heart. Tears, I cannot tell you how much I've shed this loss. But now, I have to look after Mama. I believe for her. I just want to tell you keep the family in prayer. We always miss him, always love him, and always have a place in our heart. And we are his legacy. We are the ones that he rose up. Over 40 years I know that man. He's a prophet of God. God bless you. I wanted to take a few moments and just say how much we love and honor the precious memory of Dr. Mar Sorello. I want to say to Teresa and to David and to all of the family, um, you are in our hearts and in our prayers. Cerise and I and all of us here at the ministry at Free Chapel want to say that Dr. Sorello impacted our lives. He touched the world globally. He ministered with great faith. He was one of the kindest men that you would ever meet being a giant, a legend, a living legend. Um, he was kind enough to take time to speak, you know, just so uh, personally in a way that made you feel so important as a minister. I had the privilege of preaching for him on numerous occasions, and it was always such a thrill, such a highlight to get around him. And every time I got around him, I was moved by his kindness. I was moved by his true humility. He was a gentle giant. 
and yet you knew that you can't do what he's done and achieve what he achieved for the kingdom and glory of Jesus Christ without being a battle axe, without having to fight spiritually and every other way for every soul that he won. And God only knows the numbers of souls that this man and you, Miss Teresa, have reached for the kingdom of God. I love you all. I'm praying for you. And his legacy will continue to go forward with the beautiful center that you built. And our hearts and prayers are with you. God bless you. Well, Dr. Morris Serrato, what a life he has lived. So many people so radically impacted. My wife, Bobby, and I and everybody at Hillsong say, well done, Dr. Morris Sorello, and give our love to everybody who are going to carry the banner onwards. Shalom, I'm Pastor Wayne Hillsden. I've had the privilege of serving in Jerusalem at King of Kings Ministries for the past 37 years. I'm going to miss my friend Morris Cirillo. Morris came alongside us in the early 2000s helped us buy Jerusalem's largest movie theater and turn it into a wonderful sanctuary and home for King of Kings community. Not only has he been a great supporter of our work, but Moore Cirillo has been a great friend. We've spent many hours uh, in restaurants around the table enjoying sweet fellowship with he and Teresa. And uh, all of us love him dearly. What a pioneer, reaching nations around the world sometimes the first one to do public gatherings in these nations. So I honor him today. I'm going to miss him, and we're going to be reunited one day soon in heaven. God bless you, and let us remember the great things that God has done through more Cirillo. As many of you may have heard, our beloved and sainted evangelist, apostle, missionary, Morris Cirillo made his transition last weekend. I felt it coming. I've known Marcerello for well over 50 years. He lives in San Diego. That's where I was born. We knew his family, the ministry. My mother started supporting people like him and T.L. Osborne, and of course, Oral Roberts, when I was still in elementary school. And that I would ever travel with him, or I used to go to Mission to London every year. We'd meet him there and um, have great crusades. Some of my long relationships have lasted from those. Benny Hinn and I would show up every once in a while. My friend Mark Goodrich, who's, still, who's now living in the United States, longtime friends. Morris was powerful. He was a man of concentration, consecration, fasted and prayed. His son David is a dear friend of mine. His lovely daughter Susan, who has taken such good care of him, and his wife Teresa. They were 88 years old, been married over 60 years, and uh, now she's a widow. But Susan and she are together. He just built and opened this fantastic place called the Legacy School of Ministry. Legacy really means what you left behind. I, I, uh, Susan gave me a complete tour of the place. It's not just a school of ministry. It is a school about ministry and ministering, but it's a, it's a theme park where you can take your family and sit in theaters with the multi screens around you and actually feel like you're in Jerusalem or in the deserts of Egypt. And if you, you pass by water, water splashes on you. You can sense dust. It's, it's, a, it's an active place and very powerful. I've sat in there, I've been in there, watched the films and it's a whole tour. There's a restaurant there, there are hotels. You can have conventions and conferences there. It's in a very elaborate state of the art place. It's just magnificent and it cost several hundred million dollars to build it, and now he's gone. So we'll see what happens as we fill it, and have, maybe I'll host a conference there one day, right there in my hometown of San Diego, California. Thank you, Morris Cirillo. Thank you, Mother Teresa. Thank you, Susan and David, for continuing the legacy, as I know you will. I recently went to see uh, Brother Cirillo and, and uh, Mother Teresa just less than a year ago, hung with them, loved on them, and then went back again. So I've always kept in touch with them. Whenever Susan was in school here, he would come and visit. He and I would talk. He was powerful in the pulpit, powerful all over the world, throughout Africa, India, Asia. Everybody knew Morris Cirillo and still does. He'll be greatly missed and always remembered. His legacy remains in our hearts and our minds and our spirits. To live as Christ, to die is gain. To be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Blessed are the those who die in the Lord henceforth now and forevermore. They rest from their labor, but their works follow them. His works are there, his legacy is here. The prophet went up, the mantle has come down. It's all good. 
because it's all God. We love more cerebral. I'm Dr. Gary Whetstone, and I have, from a heavy heart of love and compassion for a man, a tribute to Dr. Mara Cirillo. He served the Lord with all of his heart. He opened his heart to me as a friend, as a father. He opened his family to me in a way that I've never seen him open to anyone else. And I first met Dr. Cirillo through one of his students in the El Cortez Hotel in July of 1984 in East Java in a city called Ungarang with Mary Hartante. And she was my translator and said, I never saw or heard anyone speak or preach with power like you, except for Dr. Mara Cirillo. And I said, who is that? I never heard of him in my life. So I set on a passion to find him in 1986 in a crusade in Philadelphia. I met him as I went up on the platform. I said, do you know people in Indonesia know you? And he said, how do you know Indonesia? So I shared with him about the call of God on my life. And then the future was being written in my life. Never have I met a man who had greater passion and service to the living Christ Jesus and a world engagement to see the world brought to Jesus. He not only was the man of the platform that many knew in the power of God and the revelation of imparting the nature and the life of Christ Jesus, but he to me was a father and a friend. He opened his family to me and my life and family have never been the same. As we've shared literally thousands of meals together and I, I discovered how to seek God during our time together as we went throughout the world in mission to all the world, we'd spend hours in prayer together before the meetings just to hear the voice, the utterance of God. And that passion of pursuing the living God is alive in me because of my father, Dr. Cirillo. I come to you today with a joy of knowing that he rests assured in the throne of God, that he is carrying on his legacy through his sons. I'm one of them. And as we take our life and we live it to the fulfillment that God calls it to, we have not a memory, but we have an impartation from Mara Cirillo, a man a father, an apostle, a prophet, a voice of God to the nations of the world that have transformed the world and specifically my life. And what can we say without Teresa? TC, the greatest support and love and compassion and suffering is carried out by you as you stood by your husband throughout these multitude of decades and saw him go out. And I had know the stories. I know the pain and God gave you the world through a man that God called Papa. Today, we, your sons, father are carrying on your legacy. And as men and women put their feet on this precious soil called legacy, you're experiencing the grace of God, the vision, the power, and I pray the impartation of the Spirit of the Lord as you come to San Diego to the Mars Rillo World Evangelism Legacy Center. Your life, your family, your future will never be the same. Bapa, we're carrying on your legacy. This earth will never be the same because God gave you to this earth and gave you to me. A general and a prince of God has transitioned from labor to reward. That's what I wrote uh, on my social media page when I received word about the home going of the prophet of God, Dr. Morris Sorello. I went on to write on my social media page Sometimes it bothers me when generals and princes in the kingdom of God transition and the world and the world's news goes on as if nothing has occurred. When in fact, one of the lights and one of the voices that has preserved their lives, our nation has now gone to heaven. I know that Dr. Cirillo 
only cares that heaven rejoiced. But we that are here and remain, we must celebrate the life and the impartation, the impact of this great prophet of God. Um, Dr. Cirillo impacted so many lives. I, I count myself favored to be among those that he took the time to minister to and to share with. Uh, in my opinion, uh, Dr. Morris Cirillo was perhaps one of the purest manifestations of a prophet of God in the United States of America and to the nations of the world. A man, what I mean by that, who operated his entire ministry from the prophet's office. Uh, he taught me a great deal, but I caught also a great deal just from watching him and being around that anointing uh, and that mantle. As a matter of fact, some years ago, when the spirit of the Lord spoke to my spirit and said, the prophet's office has come upon you and you are to function in it. Uh, I was impressed by the Holy Ghost to talk to Dr. Srillo about that very thing. And he imparted to me, he shared with me. Um, I ministered for him on television and he came to conferences and he imparted so much to this preacher's life. Uh, words can never express uh, the impact that he has had upon me. And I know so many millions of others. I, I can recall just about a year uh, ago, it was August of 2019, we were in London with Pastor Chris, Pastor Benny, Dr. Srilla were ministering at the World Evangelism Conference there. And I remember that Sunday, I wrote it down, Sunday, August 11th, 2019, when that great prophet took that stage and the atmosphere in that room shifted. And those of you who are well aware, and those of you I'm talking to are of Dr. Cirillo, he, there are times when he would come into room and just say a couple of words from the spirit of God and the atmosphere would shift in a room. I'll never forget that Sunday when he imparted and uh, said some things, walked up on me and waved his hand and I went out of the power of God. I remember sitting there and I said to my staff, my team, some of whom were in London with me, I said, today, the mantle, the anointing on this prophet of God released me into some things uh, that changed my life and ministry. And some of the things we are doing today are a product of the anointing that the prophet of God released. This was <laughs> the original article. And we thank God for his life and his legacy to Mama Teresa, to Greg, uh, David, Ben, all of those of you at Morrisville World Evangelism, we love you. We are praying for you. What a life, uh, what a legacy, not only of ministry, but of people and influence this man of God has left. And I was thinking this morning, sort of like David, when the anointed had transitioned and David sat and he said, is there anyone of that house that I can be a blessing to. I wanna say from us here at Clarence E. McClendon Ministries, the place of grace to all of you uh, at uh, Marcella World Evangelism, we shall honor you and honor uh, the legacy just as we honored the prophet when he was with us on this side. We stand with you in anything that we can do to encourage and sustain and impart into what this prophet of God has imparted into us, we stand ready to do. We love you. We're praying for you. And may God richly bless you now and in the days to come. Dr. Maurice Cirillo, world-renowned evangelist of God, Dr. Maurice Cirillo, God's apostle and prophet to the nations. Maurice Cirillo, the mighty man of God, the legend. All these things are true. But for me, it's Maurice Cirillo, the mentor, the spiritual father, Papa. The year was 1979. It was about 40 years ago. I arrived at the El Cortez for the first class of the School of Ministry, the inaugural class. I really didn't know 
what do you expect? Except that I was very excited and looked forward to what God has for me. The first night, after such an anointing that came upon the auditorium and Maurice Rello ministered and brought the word, I laid on the carpet and found myself getting up only at after two o'clock in the morning, soaking in the Holy Spirit. The next day, I was seated on the front row of that auditorium of the class, and for the next six months there I was at the front row. And every time Brother Sfrolo would minister and teach, I would soak in the revelations that he brings, the classics of the likes of the proof producers, the new anointing, and all the different revelational messages that he brought. It brought powerful spiritual breakthroughs. And for me, my life was never again the same. I watch up front the passion he has when he poured himself out to every one of us like he was in a race against time. And he saw a generation that needed to be raised up that would go with the power and anointing of the Holy Spirit and would go preach the gospel without fear. I saw the compassion right up in from the front row of when he ministers to those that were sick that it's like his heart breaks for those that are suffering and in pain. And to see the miracle of God takes place. That is like the Holy Spirit coming in waves over the people. It caused me to hunger every time more and more as I watch again and again how God used this great man of God from the front row to the front lines for the past 40 years that I've joined Maurice Rillo on the field, especially in Asia, from nation to nation, to see him come in and do spiritual combat with the principalities and powers of the air in that nation or in that city. And to see those spiritual walls of Jericho come down, it gave me such a desire to say, God, let that mantle fall on me. Let that anointing come upon me. We need this in Asia. And that is how God has used Brother Cirillo in all the continents of the world. I, I believe that that pioneering spirit that is upon him even before my day, that in my day I've seen him bring about new moves of God in all of these nations, God has truly used this man, Morris Rillo, to fulfill the heavenly vision that he has been given, that he would come into nations and shake them under the power of Almighty God through signs and wonders and miracles to bring about a new day for the church in all these nations. I've been privileged by God to see him up close and personal in all of these years from all the nations that have brought him to, whether it is from China to Taiwan to Hong Kong, even to Australia, here in Malaysia, in Singapore, Indonesia, and in so many places that I was able to learn up close and personal with him. What are the keys to the opening of a nation? What is the keys to spiritual breakthroughs? We ask or we say, what is the legacy of Maurice Rello? I believe that it should be revered to say, what are the legacies of Maurice Rello? The School of Acts, well known throughout Asia and also in many parts of the world. 
My wife and I started the School of X way back in 1994. And what was it founded upon? What is the School of X about? What is the heritage of which the School of X is built upon? The School of Ministry. All the breakthroughs that I have experienced and all the life-changing encounters that I've had with the Holy Spirit and every key that I have received and all that I've learned and through the times of going with Brother Strollo to the nations, taking up all that anointing and learning from his leadership, learning from everything that drops from his lips and sharing the intimate things of his heart. I took all of those richness, the spiritual richness, and I brought what I had been a part of from the school of ministry to begin what is today the school of Acts. And I know that from what I have through the years shared with Brother Srillo and Teresa Srillo, our deep gratitude that we owe a great debt to Morris Srillo for what we have received and upon his great shoulders that we stand on so that today we can reach so high and go so far. I want to express today our deepest gratitude to Mama Srello, David, Susan. I know all of you have paid the price like Morris Srello has, that in your own ways that God has made a demand on your lives that we are ever grateful that you shared your dad with us. That over the many years that he has gone to the nations and been missing away from home because he has to obey the heavenly vision that the Lord has given to him for he dare not disobey. And even though I Realize that even if he's at home and yet he can be missing because he's in the spirit and he takes those hours to pray and travail in the spirit until a breakthrough comes. We learn that of him and we know that that's the price that all of you have paid. And I want you to know that myself and every one of us around the world, we honor the Cirillo family. And we know that heaven is waiting to honor every one of you. We are grateful. Brother Cirillo has been a pioneer in all the places that he's been, that he would go and he will bring about new moves of God. And these moves of God has always stayed and continue to grow after he's gone. And therefore there have been layers upon layers of leaders, mighty men and women of God, pastors of mega churches, people that are today doing great things for God that will look back like myself and say that this could never have been possible if God has not allowed us to sit at the feet of this man of God, Maurice Cirillo. And he had imparted something from the Holy Spirit upon us that caused us to be a people that is like a part of God's victorious army. The legacy lives on. The ministry, the work of this great man of God, Brother Srollo, it continues. The man, the message, the ministry will continue to impact generations after generations until Jesus returns. 
today when we see this coming to an end the passing of a great generation with the passing of Papa Cyrilo we ask the question what must we do that we might work the works of God this is what Morris Rollo has put it into our spirit how can we forget and this is always a haunting question and it we always hear that question asked what must we do that we might work the works of God Well, I have the answer because I have learned well from Brother Cyril. I've learned, and I will always remember that this answer comes from this revelation, this breakthrough that I have received as I sit to listen to him bring that word again and again. Don't look at the bigness of your need, but look at the bigness of your God. Thank you, thank you, Brother Cyril. Thank you, Papa Cyril. Thank you for putting it into our spirit. Then now we continue to take one step, step by step, and every step will be a miracle. And so we're thankful that we are a part of this rich legacy, and we will continue to see this legacy of Morris Rollo, the faithful servant of God, continues till Jesus returns. God bless you.